Hello and welcome back. So today I'm going to be making for you a fried teriyaki salmon. This is a dish that is priceless and endless and you will continue to make this. I will be making this for a family of four. And as you can see, I'm starting out with Alaska salmon and it does come with the skin on the back. So go ahead and remove that and cut this down into bite sizes and make sure you give it a good clean before you do. So with that, you guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe because trust me, you're gonna definitely want some of these delicious recipes I have in store. So by saying that, you can cut this down into smaller sizes, bigger sizes, whatever you like and whatever your heart desires. But for me, I'm cutting this down into smaller sizes as you can see on the screen. The reasons for is because I am feeding a family of four. So being that said, once you've cut your salmon down into bite sizes, you're then going to place it in a bowl. Go ahead and set that off to the side. We're going to now assemble the flour. So I'm going to go ahead and add about, this is a cup and a half of flour, all purpose flour that is. And then just for you guys, I went ahead and measured out the cornstarch that you're going to use. That is a tablespoon right there. And then I'm going to also add an additional tablespoon as well too. This is going to help accentuate and make the salmon even crispier when we fry it. And I'm going to start out with some Larry seasoning salt. By the way, I did measure this for you guys as well too just so you guys can get the correct measurements. That is one tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning. So now I'm gonna come in with some garlic salt from Larry's as well too. Each one of these seasonings is going to be one tablespoon, you guys. So if you've ever wondered how to season your flour, this is definitely how. I'm gonna come in with some black pepper as well. And of course, make sure you keep these seasonings off to the side because we are going to be using them later. Now I'm going to come in with some Mrs. Dash garlic and herb. Same thing, one tablespoon. I wanted to make this recipe very simple and straight to the point. And again, one tablespoon of onion powder. And then you're going to add one tablespoon of garlic powder. With this recipe, you are definitely going to be making this time and time again. So I would strongly suggest that when you do make this recipe, please tag me in the video and also comment below and let me know how you like it. So being that said, once the flour is assembled, we're just going to give it a quick mix and now we're going to bring back the salmon. We're going to now add two eggs to this. The reasons why I'm adding eggs is because eggs also makes the salmon crispy. So we want some extra crispy, extra crunch when we're dealing with the salmon, especially when we're frying anything. And as you could see, I'm using the same ingredients again, so I'm not going to really go over those same exact ingredients. Trust me, if you caught them the first time, and like I said, make sure you have them off to the side, you're using them again. Same exact measurements as well too. The reasons why we're seasoning the salmon is because when you season the salmon, the salmon tends to lose its seasoning, especially when you're mixing the egg and, you know, once we've washed the fish, of course, it's going to be a little wet. So that's why we season the flour and that's why we're seasoning the salmon. But we also want that extra coat of seasoning. So once that's all done, you're going to give it a quick mix and then we're going to set that to the side. Let's go ahead and bring that flour back really quick. And let's go ahead and bring that salmon back. Once we've brought back the salmon and the flour, we're just going to dip the salmon inside of the flour. Now, this is very important that you make sure you coat the complete salmon. And then once you're done, let's take it off to some oil. 
to go ahead and fry. You can use any oil, and I've already been frying a little bit of salmon here to kind of get ahead of the video. But as you can see right here, here's the deliciousness of the salmon. If you guys can smell my kitchen right now, it smells absolutely phenomenal. And with that said, once the salmon is cooking, this is the time that you should be preparing the sauce. So, being said that, same measurement, we're gonna bring in some onion powder. One tablespoon of onion powder. And now I'm gonna use one tablespoon of garlic powder. And it's very important that you follow these exact measurements because if you don't, it's okay. But it will be better. And so after the onion powder, I use garlic powder. And now I'm going to go in with some honey. The honey is going to sweeten this complete dish and also caramelize the teriyaki sauce. So we are going to be using at least, I would say, a good five tablespoons or you can even say half a cup of honey. Once you've used that, you're going to use some ginger paste. The ginger accentuates the flavors, so I'm going to be saying at least a tablespoon and a half of ginger. Because this definitely does give it a different taste and feel. Once you've done that, you're going to bring out some garlic paste and same measurement. And that right there was the teriyaki sauce that I use that you can pick up at Walmart. And you're going to use at least a cup. Now, it depends on how much salmon you're making, but you might need to use more. And then I just added some minced garlic. We're going to give this a quick stir. Now, if you're cooking the whole salmon, you're going to double this recipe. If you're cooking half of it just for yourself, here you are. But once the salmon is done, as you guys can see, this salmon looks so crispy and delicious. I'm giving you guys a quick close up. So once that is done, we're going to now start to make our sauce. So you're going to take some chili oil. And you guys, I just came up with this recipe off the top of my head. I was just thinking I wanted somewhat of a, an authentic kind of Asian food. So this is delicious. <laughs> Trust me. So you're just going to have one tablespoon or two tablespoons of chili oil. You're going to dice up some green onions and add that into the pot. And just let the green onions saute a little bit doesn't have to be completely cooked you know and then we're going to put in the fried salmon <laughs> once you've added the fried salmon into this pot as you can see I'm adding it now we're just gonna give this a quick toss really quick and that's it besides now we're going to add that sauce that we have already created and if you haven't already go ahead and put some rice on now I'm just going to pour the sauce onto this fried salmon and as you can see I doubled up my recipe so because I like sauce and if you like sauce double up that recipe and make sure you get all of that goodness out of that bowl and then what what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna toss it and you're also going to cook it because you want that honey to caramelize the fried salmon it's gonna turn into like a kind of thick paste in a degree but a little loose and as you guys can see the sauce down at the bottom it's gonna thicken so just keep stirring until you have coated your complete salmon that you have inside of the pot and once you've done that my strong recommendation is to go ahead at this point 
and cut up some green onions and also some cilantro. And trust me when I say this, go ahead and sprinkle some cilantro and also some fresh green onions on top and you are done. Enjoy. I hope you like this recipe. And with that, you guys, stay strong, stay healthy, stay in the spirit, and I will see you in the next video. I'm out. Shalom.